Let's talk about dividing polynomials. And here we've got a cubic, we've got a cubic polynomial right here that's being divided. There's my cubic by a linear. Okay? Yeah. You can do this in two different ways. You can either divide this with long division, which I'm going to do first, or you can use it synthetic division because this is linear. Synthetic division can be done when you have a linear polynomial with x as the first term. In other words, when you have a polynomial in the form of x minus b, 1x minus b, then you can use synthetic division. That's when you can use synthetic division, and I'll show you how to do that. And in fact, synthetic division is easier typically than long division, but let's do long division. So the question I want to ask myself, and I'm going to, do, I'm going to mirror over here, I'm going to go back to old school long division. Remember this? If I was dividing, um, let's say I was dividing 4 into 9. How do I put 4 into 9? I say, how many times does 4 go into 9? And I put that above it, which the answer is 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. I subtract them, I get 1. I bring down put a decimal up here, I bring down the zero. And now I say, how many times does four go into 10? And it goes into there two times. I multiply them together and I put that underneath here and I subtract them and I continue doing that. That's exactly what we're gonna do with polynomial long division. How many, but we're doing it with polynomials. How many times does this go into this, three X cubed? Well, what do I need to do? I need to make it look just like three X cubed. So what do I have to divide X or sorry, 3x cubed by x, and what do I get? 2x squared. squared. x by x. Now when I multiply, if I divide this by this, by the first term, I get 2x squared. Now watch what happens. Mm. When I multiply this out, and please put parentheses here. Just trust this me, do that. Division this is long, long division. division. Okay. Multiply the 2x squared by x minus 3, and what do you get? 2x cubed minus 6x squared. Now, remember what I did down here. I now subtracted that. So I'm going to change the color so you can see. I'm subtracting this. X cubed plus X squared. That's why I put parentheses there. Big mistake people make. Add, subtract, subtract, change the signs. And now subtract them straight down. What's, whoops. I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong. Sorry. It's not 2x. 3x squared. It's not 2x squared. It's 3x squared. Not 2x squared. It's 3x squared. So it's 3x squared minus 9. Sorry about that. Why is it 3x squared? Because what's 3x cubed minus x? Divided by x or minus? Sorry, divided by x. Times. What's 3x cubed times? No, what's 3x cubed divided by x? It's 3x squared. That's what I put up here. That's what I put up here. And then I multiply it through. Multiplying it through gives me this. Subtracting down, that's gone. That's the whole point of it. Subtracting this down, it becomes 4x squared. And then just bring these things straight down. Plus 2x minus 10. And now do the same thing. Changing colors to blue. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But then you distribute the negative end. Right. Wait, so that's rare. This would be zero. So do the same thing. Now divide this by this, and what do you get? 4x squared divided by x. All right. Um, um, oh, it would you be just, yeah, you subtract these. 4x. Subtract them straight down. All right, then you bring the 2x down. So, so now I've got plus 4x. Oh. Squared. Nope, 4x. No, I was, I was looking there. Right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 4x, multiply this to here. Sorry about that. I'm having a hard time with the space here. Multiply the 4x through to this stuff right here and put it in parentheses. Otherwise, you're going to make a mistake. 4x squared minus 12x. Where did you get the plus 2x from? Brought it straight down from above here. It just carries straight down. Okay. And now I've got four, 
when I do that, don't forget I'm going to subtract. Let me change colors to gold. Subtract this. It becomes negative, negative positive. Those go away. This becomes 14x. Bring the 10 minus 10 down. Okay. Do it again. How many times does x go into 14x? Divide 14x by x, and what do you get? 14x divided by x is 14. Multiply 14 by these things here. Put them in parentheses. Let me clear some room here. Put them in parentheses. 14x minus 30, 42, 52, 42, minus 42. Change the signs. Flip the signs around. I'm changing the gray color. Plus, minus, plus. Cancel those out. Add these straight down. You get 32, and that's what's left over. So your answer now is plus 32 divided by, because I can't do that anymore. I don't have any X's left. 32 divided by X minus 3. And there's your answer. You lost me after this. I did. All right, I apologize for making those mistakes. But now let's do synthetic division. Here's synthetic division. The reason I can do synthetic division is because I've got a linear divisor and the leading coefficient is 1. That's the reason you can do synthetic division. And synthetic division is just a shortcut for long division. I take all these coefficients, 3, negative 5, 2, negative 10. Now, warning, if, there was like, if this was 3x to the fourth, you would have to, you have to put a zero there to hold the place of the, an extra zero there to hold the place of the cubic that you skipped. So be careful about that. But it's not that, so we won't do that. Now take this negative 3 right here, and you put the number 3 out front. So you take the opposite of the sign and you put it out front. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is a little fun, almost looks, feels like a game. I'm going to bring this 3 down. I'm going to multiply these here and put that there. I'm going to subtract them, bring it down, multiply these, put that here. I'm going to add those together, 14. Do these numbers sound familiar? 3, 4, 14. Let's look back. 3, 4, 14. Those are all related. I'm not going to explain why, but they just are. 3 times 14, sound familiar? 42, look familiar? Yeah. Sure does. It's 32, and there's your remainder. So this is your answer. See how much easier that was? It's, synthetic division is a lot easier, but you can't always do synthetic division. That's why you got to learn long division. This is your x squared term. This is your x term. This is your linear term, and this is your remainder. So we write it out. 3x squared plus 4x plus 14 plus... 32 over x minus 3, and there's your answer. One quick note. If this number is 0, that means that that was a factor of that. And that's really the gold. You, you, you're striking, you're whatever, finding the jackpot. If you, if you find a 0 right here, that's kind of what you're after because zeros are really important. If you can find a 0, it's like finding a factor. It is finding a factor. And finding a factor allows you to reduce a cubic equation down to a quadratic equation, which a quadratic equation is much easier. You can use a quadratic formula to find the other zeros. That's the long-term goal, and we'll see that eventually. That's how you do long division and synthetic division. Have fun.